which is the area of the kind of microorganism that causes a lot of problems such as pneumonia called Streptococcus pneumoniae. So Streptococcus pneumonia causes a pneumococcal disease. So as I said before, it's a leading cause of pneumonia in all ages, particularly the young and the old, and often after damage to the upper respiratory tract following a viral infection. It also causes middle ear infection known as otitis media. The organism often spreads causing bacteremia and meningitis. And it's important to note that Streptococcus pneumoniae is a hemolytic and there's no drip antigen. So risk factors for having pneumococcal disease in children you're only two years of age in drip childcare, certain illnesses such as sickle cell disease, HIV infection, and chronic heart or lung conditions, cochlear implants or cerebral spinal fluid, leets, which means the escape of the fluid that surrounds the brain and spinal cord, and also certain nationalities are at more risk, American, Indian, um, Indian American, Alaskan natives and African American children have an increased risk. There's also chronic illnesses, conditions that weaken the immune system, Living in nursing homes, under long term care facilities, and cochlear implants or cerebral spinal fluid, and smoking, as I said before. There are more than 90 strains of pneumococcus bacteria, seven serotypes, which are 6A, 6B, 9B, 14, 19A, 19F, and 23F, are known to be accounting for the most drug resistant streptococcus pneumoniae. These serotypes are covered by the PV, PCV7 vaccine. So, Pneumococcal pneumonia is the most common serious form of pneumococcal disease and can be mild to severe in all age groups. Complications include infection of the space between the pleural membranes, known as empathemia, inflammation of the pericardium, the sat sound of the heart, known as pericarditis, and blockage of the airway that allows air to the lungs, known as endobronchial obstruction, with lung collapse defined as atelosasis, a collection of pus, abscess in the lungs. This is fatal in about 5% of patients with non-invasive pneumococcal pneumonia, but the rate can be higher among elderly patients. The symptoms include fever, chills, cough, rapid breathing or difficulty, chest pain, confusion, or low alertness in older patients rather than the other youngsters. So, Looking at pneumococcal otitis media, so pneumococci commonly causes this. They are found in 28 to 55 percent of middle ear aspirates. By age 12 months, more than 60 percent of children have had at least one episode of acute otitis media. Sinuses can also be infected. These infections are usually mild. Some children develop repeated ear infections and can need ear tubes. It is likely that pneumococcal ear infections account for more than 10 million visits to doctors per year. Symptoms include ear pain, red, swollen eardrum and sometimes fever and sleepiness. So diagnosis of this involves direct gram staining or detection of capsule antigen and sputum. The organism grows well on sheep and blood agar. So that's quite common to a lot of these microorganisms we can see, sheep blood agar. So pneumococci are identified by solubility in bile and autolysin, which is a peptoglycan degrading enzyme, is released by bile from the cell membrane and binds to a choline containing tetroic acid and attached to the lichen. The autolysin then digests the bacterial cell wall, resulting in the lysis of the cell. If the cells are drawn in ethanolamine instead of choline, ethanolamine is incorporated into tachoic acid. The autolysin then cannot lyse the cell wall. So understanding how the autolysin works has led to suggestion of antibiotics, including penicillin, work together with the autolysin and the killing of pneumococci in, in vivo. These organisms are also identified by susceptibility to optochitin, also known as ethylhydrocuprine. So, regarding the capsule, the capsule is highly prominent in violent strains and its carbohydrate antigens vary greatly in structure among strains. The capsule is antiphagocytic and immunization is primarily against the capsule. There are capsular vaccines available for susceptible individuals. The immunity is serotype specific. So, using appropriate type specific anti seda, the capsule and isolated bacteria can be fixed, as they say, and becomes visibly microsco visible microscopy. And this is used in a mi microbial identification in a reaction known as a Cleland reaction. The organism also produces pneumolysin that degrades red blood cells under anaerobic conditions, observed as alpha hemolysis. Complement activation can also occur by tetanoic acid and can explain why large numbers of inflammatory cells come to the focal cell infection. And finally, 
we're just wrapping up for today. Step of the pneumonia is transmitted person to person by contact with saliva and mucus. Most strains are susceptible to penicillin. However, resistance is quite common and 15% of invasive pneumococcal isolates are resistant to penicillin in some parts of the world. With regards to vaccines, we mentioned before the PCV7. So there are various types and uh, very good at preventing severe disease. Uh, as I said before, the most common one is the PCV7 one, right? And also there's the PCV13, or known as Prevnar 13, which is known as the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, which protects against the 13 serotypes responsible for most severe illnesses in children.